Are you feeling pinched financially? I wouldn't be surprised if you are, seeing that inflation is at all time highs, salaries aren't keeping up, and let's face it, it's really hard to cut back your lifestyle after what we call that lifestyle inflation, right? So there was an influx of money during COVID and now the cost of everything is so high that it's hard to keep up. That's what we're gonna talk about today, maybe giving you some relief on how to get ahead financially. Hi, I'm Olivia Kirk. I'm Tim Urich, we're from Tier One Capital, and we're here to help you regain control of your money. So if you're feeling pinched, the data supports that. Inflation is up 18.6% over the last three years. Savings is down over 37%. So our ability to get ahead has really been compromised. And a lot of it is the cost of living and inflation for sure. But also a lot of it is the double whammy of having credit card debt or credit debt and contributions to a retirement account. And we call that a, the double death. And the reason is, is because putting money in a retirement account puts our money out of reach when we need it most. And then having that credit debt cuts into our cash flow because now the credit debt is with higher interest rates. And because of that, that sucks up more of our cash flow. So we're giving away cash flow in the retirement account and then we're losing cash flow with the credit debt. Exactly. And you know, credit card debt's at an all-time high in America. And it's it's no surprise, you know. We all have to eat, we have to fill up our cars and you know, that lifestyle inflation. But once you accrue a credit card balance, you know, whether it's big or small, and I, I've learned that the balance, a heavy balance is, is relative to the household, but either way, it's heavy. You know, it's typical to see a credit card with 20 to 35% interest. So you're paying hundreds or thousands of dollars a month in interest alone to these credit cards. And it could make it feel impossible to get out. And quite yeah. frankly, it, it's kind of designed to, right? So oh, yeah. you're obligating your future income to make these, these purchases now, but it's not free. It has a high cost and that's something that needs to be accounted for. And, you know, what we talk about is putting you back in control of your cash flow and of your life ultimately, because when you're in that much credit card debt, whichever amount is heavy for you, you're not in control of your life. You could be losing sleep over these finances. Yeah. And people are losing sleep. Uh, Intuit did a study. They found that 69% of small business owners around the world lose sleep or sleep less due to cash flow concerns. So there's study after study saying that cash flow is the issue. And what we have found working with people on a daily basis is that most or all of these cash flow issues are self-inflicted to the extent of it's how you're using your money. And we mentioned the double whammy before of credit debt, and retirement plan contributions. But they're strategies that you could change today mm -hmm. to reverse the flow of your cash so that it's coming back to you rather than going away from you. Now, it may seem like the easiest step to freedom is to you know stop contributing to your retirement account, which could be a good thing because now you have access to that cash flow and um, automatically put it all towards your credit cards. And what that's going to lead you to is the same exact situation, right? Less credit card debt, but still absolutely no access to money, which is going to leave you in a position where if something comes up and let's face it, it often does or else we wouldn't be in this situation, you're forced to borrow again. So rather than take that, you know, simple one step, okay, redirect this cash flow here, we would suggest possibly 
building a pool of cash that you own and control first, right? So now you have some security for yourself and now, you know, you're still paying that interest to the credit card, but now you have a pool of cash that's earning money, number one, and that you're able to tap into to maybe pay off that credit card or take care of the next emergency or the next expense that comes along. And now you have options of what you could do with that money. And that's actually key. Yeah, and it, basically what you're doing is building a safety net. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to get us through those times where life throws stuff at us. Mm -hmm. And because we would now have access to that capital, it gives us options as to whether or not we even want to tap into it. Exactly. And again, we said in a previous video, it's all about having those options. That's what gives you the freedom. So the strategies we're employing are holding us back but those strategies in and of themselves, right? I mean, it's it's admirable to save for retirement and it's admirable to get out of debt, but when you're doing both of those things at once, you're, you're going from a position where you feel pinched and you wanna get out of debt and you wanna save for retirement to a position where you're still pinched. So that's the frustration. And that's where people get this feeling like, we're not getting ahead. And again, once they stop doing the things that are holding them back, it literally changes almost overnight. Exactly, and it, it's just a, a mindset of, am I putting myself in more control of my money or less control of my money? And that's, that's the lens that we help our clients view their cash flow through to help them get to a place of more financial freedom. If you'd like to learn more about exactly how we put this process to work for our clients, check out our website at tier1capital.com. We have a free web course that goes deep into exactly how we put it to work. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, be sure to check out these two. We picked them out special for you. Thanks so much for watching our video. And remember, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you keep that really matters. We'll see you in the next one.